Hi guys, so today I'm filming a hair tutorial which I haven't done in ages, so I'm using a voiceover. Wow, we mind boggling. So, the products we're going to use today, we're going for a matte look, is the L'Oreal Paris Studio Matte and Messy Shine Free Fiber Paste and the Shine Free Sponge Putty from the same range. So, there you go, I just showed you the products. I'm going to use a hair dryer as I'm demonstrating there. Thank you for that, Jim. Um, plug the hair dryer in, obviously. That was a reassuring face. Especially as I'm the one that's supposed to be doing the tutorial. Oh, God help us. So, what you want to do is make sure you dry your hair in the direction you want it to go, as I always say. Um, if you're going for a quiff, which we are today, make sure you dry it upwards and in the direction that you want the quiff to go. So, make sure you have the hair dry on the right settings. That would be a good start. Well done, Jim. Um, dry it all over. Make sure your hair's all evenly dried. I've sped up now because you don't want to see me drying my hair for two minutes and that would make this video about ten minutes long. So, I am drying it in the direction, doing the quiff, everything we need to, and now I'm having a bit too much fun with the hair dryer. Oh, dear me. Right, so, yes, now I'm dancing with the hair dryer. Stop now, Jim. Stop now before you embarrass yourself any oh no i don't stop now i have no idea what that was but oh dearie me so obviously we've got no product in yet there we go it's holding itself nice and bouncy and that's just purely using the hair dryer dry it a bit more if you think it needs it and just make sure that it's all held up there by itself will be good so now we're going to go through with the shine free sponge putty and what we're going to do is just add a little bit, smell it, it's always good to smell something before you put it in your hair, I reckon. So get about this much, as I show you there, and you're going to rub it through all your hands, and then you're going to rub it through your hair, because all we're doing with this right at the moment is we're going to dry our hair again once we put it in. So you put a bit of product in, dry it over again, and it just adds extra hold and secures it really nicely. And will make it last all day. So make sure you do through the whole of your hair, do it evenly. You don't need too much. Add a little bit more if you think you need it. I'm speeding it up again because I obviously did this for quite a long time. I'm quite fussy with the hair, my way my hair looks even. Can't talk. Um, now we're drying through again. Make sure this time though, with the quiff, if you want the quiff to go slightly to one direction, as I'm doing here to the right, well done James, you've got your rights and lefts the right way around. Um, so yeah, now's the time to do it if you want your quiff to go in one sort of direction. I just called myself James, didn't I? I hate that name, but I'm used to calling it myself, so... I'm only known as Jim on YouTube, really. That was an interesting fact, wasn't it? Now I'm posing at the camera for you, showing you in all directions. And now we finish with the hairdryer. We're going to add the product properly this time. We're not going to dry it again now, but this is just reinforcement. And they're nearly choking now. Um, just to make sure that it's all through your hair and making it look textured is what we're using this product for. This product has less hold than the other one, but make sure you get it through all your hair there. What I'm doing is lifting my hair with one hand and then going through with the other hand and rubbing it with that that's got product on to make sure you get it right to the tips of your hair and that will texturize it really well and also give it really good hold, which will last all day as well. So it's all about hold with this style and you want to make sure you get as much as possible. So once you think it looks all right, we can move on to the next product. Obviously, make sure you got it through your fringe as that needs the most hold. So, wipe your hands once you're done with it. We're finished with that product now. Wipe your hands with a towel. And we're going to move on to the Matte and Messy Shine Free Fiber Paste, which comes in a tube and has much more hold. So, this, you want to make sure you have about the same amount that you'd put on a toothbrush to brush your teeth with. And then we're going to rub it all over our hands and we're going to go straight to the fringe with this one because the fringe is what needs the most thing needs the most thing that was really professional wasn't it Jim I made a really funny face there as well didn't I because it feels really nice on your hands not so straight through the fringe make sure the quiff's all nice and good hold rough up your rest of your hair you want it to be evenly spread throughout your hair as I said earlier speeding up again now because I can never make my mind up when I'm looking in the mirror that it looks good even though here me watching it now recording this it actually looks all right so Jim you could have stopped but no I didn't I added more so now we are going to add some to the back of the hair just again to make sure it's all evenly added throughout the whole of my hair and I'll probably speed this up again because I took ages. Stop Jim now because it looks okay but no I did not think that there and then and I carry on going 
touching it again, there you go, you see, speeding it up now because I just can't stop myself. So I think I've just about come to the conclusion now that it actually does look alright. So I think that's it for this tutorial, thanks for watching, really easy tutorial, as I said, on trend at the moment, some really good products, got really good hold and will last all day. A little more expensive than VO5 and stuff, but there you go, I've given you a smile, so you should go and check them out, I'll link the products below. and. I really can't fault them, they're really good. So there's a new hairstyle for you. I'm going to leave you, you some pictures now of what it looks like.